talk to you today about a couple of the questions that I've gotten on the transaction helpline and some of the answers that we've provided. The first is an instance where two brokers were negotiating via text messaging for their clients. When they thought they'd come to an agreement, the seller's broker asked for a written contract that the seller could sign. When receiving it, they also received a second contract with a higher num uh, number. The seller decided to take the second contract and the first buyer who was negotiating first through their broker alleged that a breach of contract had occurred. What we informed the broker in this situ situation was that there in fact was no breach because an enforceable contract had not been entered into because the seller had never signed the first contract. Why we think this is important is to remind brokers that legally enforceable contracts are those that are signed by both parties. And it's okay to have electronic signatures, but you want to be using an e-sign or some other product that has some sort of authentication feature to authenticate the, both the seller and buyer signature if they're electronic.